Hey, I'm glad you clicked on the video. You're about to see the biggest iOS leak ever. We already dropped an early preview of iOS 19 in our last video, but about an hour after that went live, Mark Gurman, arguably the most reputable Apple leaker, this guy, claimed that we either faked our iOS 19 leak or had an old, incomplete build. And we took that personally. So we got our hands on a new build. And by new build, I mean the rest of it. I've been coming up hot for a minute. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. I, I, I drop the top when I'm in it. I'm in it. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. Yeah, I go so slow. I've been coming up hot for a minute. What we are about to show you here is the most complete build of iOS 19 yet, a version as close to final as you're going to see before WWDC happens in June. Now, for the sake of credibility, the timeline of events here is important. You should know that back in January, we were the first to leak and show off the brand new camera app coming to iOS 19, featuring a total redesign that looked a lot less like iOS and more like Vision OS, the system that runs on Apple's Vision Pro. You might have heard of it. That was the first instance of the claim being made that iOS 19 may be receiving a full redesign and look a lot like Vision OS. And 52 days later, our friendly neighborhood Grumpty Dumpty dropped his own report claiming that iOS 19 would feature a Vision OS style redesign. Huh. Imagine that! Then, on March 25th, we dropped a video showing you, not just telling you, even more of iOS 19. Mockups we made from scratch based on material from actual sources within Apple. We recreate what we see to ensure that those sources are protected. And we made sure to mention in that video that we were only showing you what we had seen up to that point. After all, we're showing you an operating system that won't be fully released to the public until September. It won't even be shown off in any official capacity until June. So of course, it's early. And Apple does a lot of clever hiding. Let's say you're an Apple engineer. Some elements of the OS are forked off into separate teams to prevent a full build from being in your possession, which is also why we never really see iOS leak early. Some of the elements are especially hidden, not from you, but maybe from prying eyes while it is in your possession. Make note of that, that's going to be important in a couple minutes. And after Mark Gurman decided to go out of his way to insert himself into the coverage about our leak by calling it outdated or fake or whatever, it conveniently let us and our sources know that there was more to find. Gee, thanks Mark! Let's get started! <laughs> Let's just give you the big one up front, shall we? In every concept of a Vision OS style overhaul that has been made, everyone defaults to showing round icons on the home screen. Why? Well, because Vision OS has round icons. Duh. The issue with that is that in every version of iOS 19 that we had seen from our sources, not once did we see evidence of round icons. So last time we showed you the iOS 19 home screen, we made sure to mention that round icons could happen in the final version, but we were just being honest by telling you that we hadn't seen any. That changes today. Remember that little note I told you to make a couple minutes ago? Yeah, it's time to get that out. Turns out that in the build we had seen, Apple was hiding new icons behind the old ones. At first glance, everything looks somewhat normal. I assume this is a precautionary measure that's taken just in case a device with this build is seen out in public. If a stranger glanced at it, nothing is out of the ordinary. But if you tap on the icon, yeah, so here's the deal. What we actually saw were icons that had a corner radius of about 30, give or take. So not a square icon, but also not a perfect circle either. There is a chance that the way we saw it was a glitch or something, but a corner radius of about 30 also happens to match other elements in the system. The icons that make it into the final version may in fact be circles. And either way, I'm sure they'll all get a facelift and not just be iOS 18 icons with the corners cut off like an Uncrustable. I just haven't seen them. But all I can do from the position I'm in 
is tell you what we saw, and we did not see perfect circles. I guess all we can say confidently is, yes, iOS 19 will have new icons. Okay, we have so much more to show you. This is a big drop, but we're gonna have to show you after today's sponsor. Pop quiz, what's the biggest life hack when it comes to writing? You're right, Grammarly. Forget copying from one app to paste in another. Grammarly is your personal AI writing partner that works seamlessly across all of your favorite apps that helps you write faster, better, stronger, so that you can get your work done. Emails, check. Scripting, check. Proposals, check. Captions, descriptions, check, check. Skip the rewrites, skip the back and forths. No matter what you're writing, go from draft to done faster than we can finish this ad. Let's be real, writing to your manager is a little different than writing to your friend. And that's why Grammarly personalizes your writing based on your audience, your goals, and context. Grammarly is free to try out, and all of the features we showed here, they're free as well. Head to grammarly.com slash frontpagetech to sign up and download today. Now that you're either happy or horribly sad that you finally get your home screen icons overhaul, take a look at some of the new system animations here and toggle switches. Oh, and in the lock screen, it's subtle, but we started to notice that some of the on-screen elements shimmered as you moved the device. I'm not sure how prevalent this is across the entire OS, but it does help sell the glassy illusion that they're aiming for here. I Let's talk about Control Center. It's, uh, well, it's the same. With some minor tweaks, I guess. Here's the old Control Center, and here's the new one. Spot the changes? It's in the brightness and volume sliders. <laughs> They're rounder now. Wow, such change. Many impress. In the newer build that we saw, compared to the first one that we saw, animations and elements are way more fleshed out now. Let's take a look at the music app. There's a new dock that you're going to find on the bottom of Apple's native apps. Internally, I believe Apple is just seeing this as a new version of what they call tab view and it works just as you'd expect i will say that because of the animation style here everything feels way more fluid and bouncy it kind of feels like it takes inspiration from the dynamic island animations if you ask me and this is consistent throughout a really great example of the new tab view is in the app store you'll find the new tab view in the phone app the tv app all of Apple's native apps, but it will also have support in third-party apps for the sake of continuity, I'm sure. Another subtle change from the last build we showed you is in the Messages app. The search field is now, get this, placed at the bottom of the display while you're looking at your threads of conversations. Tapping this will let you search the usual conversations, documents, photos, and videos shared. You know. The Settings app is ever so slightly visually different, which you might be wondering about. Not different enough to where I think a normie would even notice, but different enough to where you'd be like, oh, hey, new. Overall, though visually things are different and may operate a titch differently, I don't think we're looking at a massive new learning curve here for users, which honestly is ideal. This is a year where we're getting brand new looks to the iPhone lineup, which we also leaked, link to those videos in the description, and a new look to the software? That's a lot, and it's a lot all at once. Something like that might be cool for nerds like you and I, but Apple can't afford to place too much friction into the hands of their users. There are billions of iPhones on the market. A massive change to software, seemingly all overnight to most consumers, would be big bad to happen. These people are buying iPhone after iPhone after iPhone year after year after year because it's familiar to them. There is no relearning there's no risk. A visual overhaul to iOS that focuses more on the visual part other than the usability part is generally going to be the safest move for Apple here. Once the new look is established, then let's start implementing new features slowly but surely. I mean, we don't even have all the features from the last batch they promised. So, like... Do you really want new features too? There is one new feature that we can tell you about today in this video and it's in the camera app. This will be exclusive to the Pro models this year. Why? Well, I don't actually know because it's a feature that Samsung launched on the Galaxy S4 in 2013. Within the new camera app, and so long as you have an iPhone 17 Pro or Pro Max, you'll be able to record with your rear-facing camera and front-facing camera at the same time. So in June, when Apple takes the stage for WWDC to officially show you iOS 19, along with the new redesign, the new functions, the new animations, and the new features, you'll be able to say you saw it on FPT first. So 
how about that, Mark? Huh? That pretty much cover it? <laughs>